where we are today is the Goulburn River at near McCoy's Bridge. Um, we're working on a LTIM project that's looking at the larval fish being spawned in the Goulburn River. In the past we've seen that golden perch and silver perch can respond very strongly to flows in the Goulburn River. These environmental flows in the last years have proven to show a uh, very positive response by these species to spawn, particularly in November, early December. Today we're retrieving um, some of the nets we set up yesterday and um, hopefully be able to find some evidence of um, marble and, and um, golden perch eggs. This objective is being achieved by putting uh, larval fish nets, which are a conical net about a metre and a half long with a very fine mesh. Uh, that gets set in the river overnight and it catches all the debris and eggs and larvae that are floating downstream. These samples are, are collected and sorted under a microscope to find what fish species are breeding at that time in the river. The second method we're using is setting light traps, which is a, a perspex box. It has some funnel shapes in the perspex box that allow fish to swim in. Uh, they're attracted to a, a silume light stick that's placed in the trap and once the fish are in they find it difficult to find their way out. Uh, we're talking larvae, uh, less than a centimetre long. We've got um, three drift nets in and ten light traps in. So the light traps are on the side and the drift nets are more in stream. It's a bit early for the Murray Cod responses yet, so um, yeah, if we can find some golden perch eggs, that'd be yeah, be pretty good. The objective of this is to try and improve the uh, recruitment of golden perch and silver perch into the Golden River system naturally, as opposed to stocking. These surveys are being run weekly through uh, from the start of October through to mid December, and when there's an environmental flow coming down, we may run bi-weekly trips. Uh, just to get a better feel of what spawns at each stage of the environmental flow passing down the river. This information allows us to uh, refine the delivery of environmental flows into the future so that we can better achieve the objectives, uh, in this case namely getting golden perch to spawn in the river. The highlight is when we do find some golden perch eggs, last season we did, um, and some evidence of Murray Cod hatchlings. It's a representation of how healthy the waterway is. Part of the LTIM project is to cover a whole range of ecological matters so that health of the river can be improved across the board. This project is being run by uh, the Arthur Isla Institute and also being helped by the Golden Broken CMA.